Uh, hello everyone, I'm here with another LEGO Star Wars Technic review and for Throwback Thursday, and this one is on C-3PO and Stormtrooper from 2001. So on the front of the booklet, see picture of the sets, see LEGO logo, Technic logo, and Star Wars logo at 9 and up. And then the set numbers 8007, and the names, and how tall they are, of course. So let's start off with C-3PO. And on the back, join the fun at the old website. Add for the older Technic 2001 line for battle cars and a Bionicle 2001 Toamata set, which I am also reviewing on other Throwback Thursdays. And then the Episode 1 sets from 2000. And then the alternate build of it. And in the middle of this, is of course the main actual function of it, of course. And then Spoon Troopers. Let's see, on the back, some of the same stuff as the other one. And then the alternate build of it. And somewhere in here is the main, the actual regular build. And add for Z3P, which is. And this kind of outline for these two to go. First off of which is the main droid C-3PO. The color scheme consisting of traditional gold and black, obviously. And well, for the feet of which which, like a lot of these older Star Wars sets, use the slicer feet, or slicer heads for the feet, but on this which has the uh, opaque black visors to it. Well, this one is supposed to be gold, but it's kind of chipping off a bit. Well, because I got it used on Brickling. Well, there's a lot of weak stickers on this set since I got them used off Brickling. There's a lot of the, like, plates on the Technic bits on the Technic joint things there. But as for on both of the legs are kind of a bit symmetric. But a lot of the like, these like gold panel pieces. So there's a lot of it included in this set. So if you're a mocker, this be a definitely good pack of uh, of gold paneling pieces. But as for the chest area, uh, built pretty well -y with some more of those, and the center piece of which, not sure what that's for, but also do get some of the like tubing kind of pieces there, but in multiple colors representing it, the wires there. And for the back part of which, also kind of well done, like do get some gold detailing going on some of those. Uh, Technic beam pieces there, but also have to use stickers that covers two of them. so these split pieces have to do that kind of weird, kind of annoying, but whatever. And same with on his head, which is kind of the weakest part of it. So he barely kind of does do that, which as of now probably be seeing as like kind of creepy and all, like. Like for the eyes, which are the uh, dish pieces in metallic silver coloring, and also a two piece in gold on there. But the main feature of which, which involves a stormtrooper, which I'll show in a little bit in a little bit. So about it with that. Let's now on to a stormtrooper. That from the for the feet, also same deal, but the uh, visor pieces in white, which are kind of cool, and also a lot of the same stuff, but asymmetric with one of those pieces and those other pieces, and also same kind of build for the legs as C-3PO's, and the upper chest area, which does have one of the Robo Rider pieces, but in plain uh, white rather than with prints on it, and also a slicer foot for the bottom guard. Yeah, on the back of which, since I got it used, 
it's kind of a bit incomplete with it, but at least it's livable. But as for the, the head area, which also kind of closely resembles to that of a Stormtrooper helmet, but also similar to that of Jango Fett's helmet, which I'll do eventually as well. Like some tubing acting as the vent parts of the helmet, as well as the upper uh, part of it. And we also good use of those for the eyes and all. But as for the main feature, which is if you can kind of notice in there, is a uh, Bionicle Talamata body piece with the traditional gear function that you, we all come to know from earlier Bionicle sets, where you can lift it and lift it up, and then notice the little cable that you pull back and shoots it off. Uh, hang on a second, I retrieved it. Also, as they show in the instructions, is you can like swap the shoulder guard with a orange uh, panel piece to represent a, a like sand trooper and all. So as I was saying for the feature involving C-3PO there, like raise it up and it's supposed to blow up or whatever. Let me give it another try. Like right there. Get the missile in. There it goes again. Let me try it one more time. Alright, whatever. But as what's supposed to happen is supposed to hit that thing there. And then it's supposed to close up. But for some reason on mine of which it's just the upper area of that just comes straight up when it's supposed to be like in all different directions. There we go. Maybe it's if you hit it hard enough. But yeah. At least kind of nice that they gave C3 Pale that feature, since there's not much for him in the films. And now, on to. Oh, whoops. On to the final verdict. Oh, whoops. So. The overall verdict on these two is, I think these of which were pretty good sets at the time. Like, probably the only time I've ever had a build a figure of C-3PO. I wish they could have in the CCBS system, but whatever. But at least we got the Storm original Stormtrooper in CCBS system. Well, both versions. It's fiddle. But at least also you get plenty of nice uh, gold and white colored pieces. Then <laughs> yeah, if you all still have these sets from back in the day, well, hope you had some good times with them. And if you, but if you still have access to these sets, I'd say go ahead and get them, like eBay BrickLink or whatever. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.